stage last year, Mayor Duggan announced his job programs for our young people in Detroit. Uh, and uh, the, his goal there was, uh, you know, I'm supposed to be moving along here, sorry. I got ahead of myself. That was that one. Let me go back. Um, okay, sorry. Um, got ahead of myself. The, the second one was, is, was the Chamber's efforts uh, to, to um, make Detroit the place to do business in partnership with both public and private partners. Uh, you know, we had a, a lot of challenges with, uh, for us after the bankruptcy, uh, and to change that national, international perception about Detroit and attract investment, we had to be loud and proud about Detroit uh, and our, uh, as we exited bankruptcy. An example of that could be seen at, at this year's Detroit Policy Conference, uh, which happened this past February, where nearly 800 uh, businesses and civic leaders got together uh, to discuss and share opportunities for the challenges as well as the uh, opportunities in the post-bankruptcy uh, era. But the conversation didn't stop there. The chamber continued its efforts uh, to put a positive message in Detroit uh, across the country through national media such as ABC News, Bloomberg TV, CNN Money, and many others. And also the Chamber's business attraction team uh, hosted 11 delegations from around the world looking to attract business, uh, businesses from countries such as Germany, China, and Italy. Now to the Mayor Duggan's job programs. Uh, uh, on this stage last year, the Mayor announced uh, his effort to employ 5,000 young people in the city of Detroit uh, this coming summer. Uh, the the um, uh, chamber took a lead role in that, hosted the mayor's inaugural breakfast uh, back in January to kick off this campaign. And then through the following months uh, of this year, the chamber promoted this program to its board, uh, our broader membership, event participants, events, uh, event participants and employers from the area to pledge critical job support for our young people. And I'm proud to say that not only did we meet but exceed that goal so of 5,000 5, young people being employed in the, in the, in the, in the uh, city this summer. So that's obviously a great accomplishment and something that's very necessary. And then one, and then one of the key takeaways, remember Malcolm Gladwell last year talked about uh, the disagreeables. Uh, and he defined a disagreeable as someone who uh, has an idea and the courage to ignore the naysayers in order to bring that idea to fruition and, and reach transformative change. Uh, I'm happy to report that the, the chamber did just that. In, in our September Detroit magazine, we, we celebrated a number of, of the uh, disagreeables here in, in, in the Detroit area, uh, showcasing business leaders and entrepreneurs uh, who are driving innovation and, and helping reshape uh, uh, Southeast Michigan and our economy. So those are the four, from the four to-do lists from 2014, which we're happy, happy we, we've, uh, we've completed. But I also wanted to uh, talk about uh, a to-do list from 2013 um, that we uh, accomplished this past year. Uh, Mayor Mitch Landrieu, uh, the chamber over the last number of years has uh, done a, gone on, on different, um, different cities, Washington, D.C., Pittsburgh, and uh, this past year to uh, New Orleans, uh, to do a lessons learned and to share um, uh, uh, information about uh, what other cities are going through as we're trying to do uh, come out of bankruptcy. And New Orleans was a great example of a situation where coming out of uh, uh, Hurricane Katrina, uh, they, they dealt with a number of similar economic problems that, that we dealt with um, as, 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 we're, as we're trying to compete in this global economy. And this delegation that went to New Orleans, uh, 35 of us uh, from both the business and civic uh, communities uh, met with uh, Mayor uh, uh, Landrieu and a whole bunch of other folks and went around the city uh, learning what they learned from coming out of Hur Hurricane Katrina with, uh, with such issues as entrepreneurism, neighborhood revitalization, and education reform, t topics that obviously are very uh, near and dear to all of our hearts. So, um, so not only did we get done what we needed to do last, uh, in 2014, but we also f followed up on a, on a key item from 2013 as well. These to-do lists um, demonstrate really the power that um, this chamber has and the people that, that attend uh, this conference have. And before I, I, I conclude, I want to highlight one other issue that people in, at this conference uh, need to highlight and bring to uh, fruition. Um, we have to fi uh, fix uh, Michigan's roads. Um, uh, as you know, um, uh, the proposal this past uh, 
uh, past May went down in flames, so this past month uh, went down in flames, um, and, but yet we still have a very serious situation of, uh, 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 of a road situation in Michigan that is just untenable. Uh, we're, in, we're in a situation where uh, Michigan has to invest in itself if we want other companies to invest in Michigan. Uh, it's really jeopardizing. Um, you know, we, we've had a nice economic recovery in Michigan, but it's really jeopardizing uh, this recovery uh, uh, in, in, the, in the ability to grow jobs and, and improve our economy as a result of uh, the, the issues we have with our roads. And you know, what, what, what we have to do when we go back to leave here is to talk to our, our uh, legislators in Lansing, and we need to raise the revenue in order to do this. We can't solve the road problems by trying to um, uh, ignore other w w ways of spending money. For example, if you've, you've read in the papers about, well, we're going to take some money from here, we're going to take some money from there, and that doesn't solve the issue that we have. Um, by way of example, uh, one of the things that they're talking about doing is uh, taking money from the Michigan Economic Development Program. Uh, this is a program that, we, that's, uh, that has been very successful in creating jobs in Michigan. Uh, and and to, to, to step back from that is, is just not the right thing to do. Still others argue uh, that we ought to push back the clock on Michigan's landmark business tax, which took Michigan from one of the worst tax structures in the country to one of the best. These, po these potential solutions that, were, that are coming out of Lansing have not been helpful and, uh, and are, are hurting our economy and hurting job creation. So we need um, people in this room, uh, as I said, to go back to the legislatures and, and say, yes, our, our economic recovery is going well, but it's still fragile. Uh, so we need to step up and fix the roads and raise the money in which to do so. So take that with you uh, as well. So again, thank you for being here this morning, uh, and thank you for your participation uh, in the conference. Uh, we're, we're looking forward to um, uh, what this year's conference with Mark Davidoff, uh, and uh, the chamber will come up with for, for its 2015 to-do list, uh, and, uh, which I think will be um, um, another an, uh, exciting development for us as we move forward in, in positive change for Michigan. So thank you, uh, welcome, and enjoy the rest of the day.